Hey guys, welcome to the 26th part in this Python tutorial series for beginners. In this one we're going to be talking a bit more about inheritance. So in the last one we talked about how you can inherit all the methods and properties of one particular class down to uh, the child class from the parent class. And in this one we're going to be talking about how you can inherit from multiple classes. So let's go ahead and get straight into Python. As you can see on my screen I've got the classes example that we've been working with in the last couple of videos and I'm going to create another class. I'm going to create it above the dog class because the dog class is the one that we're going to make inherit from multiple classes. So in order to do, to do that we need another class. So I'm going to create another class and I'm just going to say uh, this is the class for anything that has four legs. And all this is going to do is I'm just going to define a simple method and say uh, has legs and it's going to take self as a parameter and all it's going to do is return <laughs> I can't type today uh, it's just going to return 4 it's just the number 4 and now I'm just going to change the dog class so where it inherits from the animal class in these parentheses I'm also going to put comma and then I'm going to put 4 legs so what that's going to do is allow the dog class to be able to inherit all the methods in this case just the one method here uh, has legs from the four legs class as well as all the methods and potentially properties in the animal class so let's go ahead and save and run this and I'm just going to create another dog object and let's call it Abby and it's a dog and so what's a name? Remember these these are the two parameters that we need to fill out because self is the dog itself and I'm just gonna say uh, the name is Abby and it's a big dog. So that object has now been created and we can see all the methods that it has access to by typing dir and the name of the object and you can see here that we've got get name, get species, which is from the animal class, and we've also got has legs, which is from the four legs class, and then we've got is big name and species, which are you know these properties which are in in both of the classes. Oh, sorry, which are in the animal class, and there's also one in the dog class itself here, which is is big and we can use that exactly the same way we'd use anything else so we could do avi dot and then we can do any of these which we've created already uh, uh, python gives us a little help sometimes so i can say has legs and then any, any method you use the parentheses uh, to indicate that it's a method if it was a property you, you would just put no parentheses so is big you would say without parentheses because it's not a method uh, that indicates that it's just a particular property that's stored within uh, either the the dog class or a class that is being inherited uh, into sort of the dog class from another class say the animal class for example so we can also do abby dot and then we can use the has legs method just to prove that it does actually inherit from both classes and then we get 4 which is exactly what we said so that's really how you can inherit from multiple classes in Python it's not very complicated but it's something else that you should really be aware of because a lot of times you're going to see that the object that you create it doesn't necessarily inherit from just one class it can often inherit from two or three or potentially quite a lot more classes so that's that's quite a well used concept in Python. It's it's how the Python language is sort of built up over time. Is you know classes have been continuously inheriting from one another, and that allows the language to sort of keep building and building. And then you can use that in your own projects, just as I've shown you as well. So in the next one, we're going to be talking about how you can override a particular method from one of the classes that you've inherited from. Say for example, this animal class if you wanted to customize the functionality of this get get name method you could do that in the dog class so i'll show you how to do that in the next video